What is up, you guys? So, I've been gone for a month. <laughs> um, I've had a lot going on, and I'm actually filming a pack slash clean with me video right now. Um, I just decided to turn the camera on. I finally got a day off of work, and I moved into my first apartment with my man on Tuesday the 4th. So, today is Thursday, so like a few days from now. And yeah, so I'm kind of stressed out. And yeah, so I hope you guys want to pack with me, clean with me. Um, it's probably going to be a really boring vlog, but <laughs> you know, it is what it is, everyday life. So, um, yeah, um, I guess, yeah, I don't know. So I miss you guys and I love you and I hope you guys like this video. So just let me know. Um, I look a hot mess. My whole room is a hot mess. So, you know, it's fine. So let's just get into it. ticket because Dermot Kennedy, Dermot Kennedy is doing a virtual um, concert. 
a virtual concert at the, um, what is it, the National, His National History Museum, Nish right, is that the name, yeah. anyway, he's doing a virtual concert there, so it's going to be streamed online, um, you have to buy like a virtual ticket type thing, it's $17, um, but yeah, I'm so excited, so that's tonight, so I'm not like getting ready for my concert per se, but I need to take a shower, I'm going to do a face mask, I'll show you what I'm using and things like that, so yeah, um, let me show you first what I packed up and everything like that. So this side of my room you never see, um, my desk is kind of messy, so don't mind this. Um, all of my plants are still on my windowsill, so I'm actually moving those the day of because, I mean, I don't want to take them away from their sunlight. <laughs> so yeah, um, those guys are still there, my fish is still there, I'm also gonna empty his tank about halfway. If you do have a fish or some type of fish tank or something, I do recommend at least draining half of the water. I also need to clean his tank, so that kind of works out for me anyway, because when I get there I can clean his tank. I do have to work the day of that I'm moving, but yeah, so I do recommend just you know, emptying half of it so it's not as heavy because it's really heavy when it has water in it even though it's only a three and a half gallon tank. This is the side of my room that you never see because when I'm filming I'm sitting here and facing this way. So yeah, all of those boxes there are stacked. Those are my cereals and my snacks. Please disregard. Um, but yeah, I'm not taking this dresser with me. I actually either wanted to sell it or just give it away, but there's nothing left in there. I took all my clothes out. Um, stuff that I'm going to be wearing or things that I need are in this box right here. Those are packages that need to ship. Um, let's see, all my photography and video stuff is all right here. So like lights, stands, um, yeah, a bunch of stuff that are there. <laughs> Our games are in there. Actually, all my SFX and my Halloween props are in that bag there. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff in this section and like behind on this other side, it's like all stacked there as well. Um, our whole entertainment center is cleaned out. I just didn't um, unplug any of the gaming systems, the Switch and the PS4, because I'm going to see my boyfriend in like a few days. And um, yeah, he likes to play his games. So we're just going to um, basically unplug everything and get everything in like cords and bags and stuff like either the night before or the day of or whatever and we'll be doing that and then it's so empty over here it's so weird um i don't know how to get my friend's thing off the door it's whatever like adhesive thing this person used i stuck it on my door and it will not come off like if i do pry it off it's gonna rip all the paint off i already know so yeah i don't know what to do about that um anyway so i'm taking my faux banana leaves in my little wicker basket thing um both of those are from target by the way if you're curious i'm taking my lamp obviously my gecko um yeah i got a gecko her name is sally i love her she's great that's our switch box so we can um put our switch in it whenever we move those are all of my clothes that are that were usually hanging on the rack that was like back here in this section because that's my mirror there I actually moved it over but yeah, so that whole clothing rack there, I just put in the trash can. I got rid of it. It was actually kind of like leaning to the side. <laughs> and yeah, so I did get rid of that. Um, I'm taking all of this over here minus the TV stand that the fan is on. Um, I'm not taking that. But that suitcase is full of artwork and stuff. So like glass things and stuff. But I put like towels in between and... Yeah, so if you have any glass or breakable things, I recommend wrapping them in towels. Um, my mom wrapped something that was super fragile in paper towels and stuck it in one of my coffee mugs. And she said that she said that, that basically helps with absorbing the shock too. So that's another tip for you. All of this stuff is my art stuff. Um, that bottom white thing is also art stuff. That is like toiletry type things in the those three drawers there. Um... There's like really random stuff in here. <laughs> and then I have like shoes, decor, my books are down there. That thing is so freaking heavy. My freaking cutie here, I love him so much. I think he knows that I'm leaving because he's being very clingy. I mean, more so than he usually is. <laughs> but he doesn't like change. So he's like, what the heck is going on? What are you doing? But I'm not moving for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, for five days. So yeah, he's confused. <laughs> It's so capable. This bed is not coming with me. It's just a twin size bed with like a really cheap Amazon frame. I hate it, by the way. It's awful. Um, but yeah, my pillows and stuff, of course. My blankets are coming, but not the sheets or anything like that. 
Um, it's just gonna stay in here. Um, my brother is on the road right now, so whenever he comes home, he'll probably sleep in here. And then when it comes to all of my makeup, which is all in those drawers and that drawer and all in there, I am leaving them here the day that we're moving because I am not about to want to have to hurt somebody for dropping my makeup or breaking anything. So yeah, I am definitely going to save that for a day when I'm off of work and I can just move it myself and move back and forth or whatever. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Um, but I am taking my all that with me. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything. Okay, I'm back. So I want to show you some skincare that I've been liking. I actually got this sent to me um, in, it's not PR, it got sent to me for me to try out and give my thoughts and opinions on it. This is the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Long Life Herb Serum and yeah it says clean without compromising performance, apply to face and neck after cleansing AM and PM. Um, I did just double cleanse in the shower, I used my little device scrubber thing, I used my CeraVe. Um, sensitive skin cleanser which is my go-to is what I use all the time and then I also went in with the blackhead scrubber and also did that afterwards because I really needed a nice scrub and my skin feels a lot better it's a bit dry though um I have been drinking a lot of water though um I just don't think it's enough so I just do like two little pumps on the hands I warm it up and then I apply it all over my face and my neck as well I guess I was gonna say it smells kind of herby, but it's literally an herb serum, so yeah. Um, but it feels really good. It sinks right into my skin. It's one of those serums that my skin just soaks up and loves. So yeah, it's really really nice, and I've been using it a lot. I'm also gonna go in with the, I think it's either Cap Capri or Kypris or something. I don't know how it's, what it's called, but it's the antioxidant do quench and glow serum. This stuff is amazing and it makes you do wee. It's so nice. I got this in a boxy charm. I actually have two of these bottles. They're actually super expensive. Um, my friend gave me the other one because she didn't like it or she didn't use, like, she doesn't like care for skincare. I doesn't care for skincare basically. Um, and I do. I love it. So I will use this. It just felt like a double serum kind of day. This is the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Chromin. And I have used so much of this, it's insane. So, I don't really like that it's in a pot, which I think I've said before, because it weirds me out. And I don't have one of those, like, fancy tools, like, the little tiny scoops that you can use and put it on your face. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, anytime I apply it, it's always with clean fingers, like, right after I get out of the shower. So, it's usually not an issue. And lastly, I'm going to go in with the Ula Hendrickson Truth Banana Bright Eye Cream. This stuff is amazing. It makes your eyes super duper bright, um, your under eyes, and I really love this as well. I've also went through a whole bunch of this too. It's just so good. I love it. So, how have you guys been? What have you been up to? Like I said in the beginning, I know it's been a really long time and I'm so sorry for that. Um, yeah, it's just, there's a lot going on, and I don't want to be one of those people, like, I'm literally a nobody in this community, like, literally the bottom crumb of the dirt under a dog's foot, nobody, okay, <laughs> and I don't want to be that person that's like, oh yeah, like, you know, this is going on, so I'm not going to post anything, or, you know, but I struggle a lot, a lot, a lot with mental health, um, that I don't want to talk about. Maybe I can sometime if you're ever interested or whatever, but or when I'm comfortable with it. Um, but yeah, I have been just going through a lot, dealing with a lot. Um, I actually took a week off of work as like a staycation type thing. Obviously, we're still in quarantine, and not necessarily quarantine, I guess. At least not for me. I've been an essential worker, so. I have not been quarantined at all. <laughs> I've been out in the public ever since I've all this started, so it's been madness. Yeah, I took a week off for a little staycation, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna film at least like two videos, I'm gonna do some makeup looks, at least like four or five to um, like have stuff to post on Instagram, like maybe two of those have like a video film for them. I also still have a script 
film for another true crime video that I want to do and it's literally been just open tab on my computer for like a month and a half now like I haven't touched it at all so um yeah but I literally laid in bed and didn't do anything like I did my makeup one time I'm very proud of it I really like what I did I'll put it here inside of here it was really fun to do um but yeah I did it one time and that, that was it um I also got two new tattoos I got this guy yeah this one's probably my most like I don't want to say meaningful because my grandparents and me are my most meaningful but um, the most like important to me tattoo is the semicolon um, if you don't know the story behind the semicolon I can put some links down below to tell you like what it's about and stuff um, but yeah that one's probably my most meaningful and then um, I also got this one granted it's upside down but it's the serotonin molecule and it has um, Part of the molecule is with oh i think that's target getting delivered the serotonin molecule that is basically for happiness i'm such a basic bitch i know everyone has this tattoo but mine has like um like stars and moons and stuff like a saturn in it it's really cute so i did it for my little nerd space part of me um because i do have a minor in astronomy by the way and yeah um sorry if you can hear the sirens there's literally sirens by my home so anyway, yeah, I'm um, sorry I'm rambling, I just missed you guys and I really wanted to talk to the camera. So yeah, I am going to get dressed, find something to eat, and I think in about, maybe now, I should be getting an email for the virtual concert that I'm attending. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to call this the end of my vlog, and thank you guys for coming along with me. I really hope you enjoyed it, so click the subscribe button if you like it, and I love you so much. And I will see you next time. I'm also going to do an apartment tour, by the way. Um, either before, I think after I decorate and like get stuff situated. So like give me a couple weeks. But that'll be coming and I'm really excited for that. So anyway, bye guys, I love you. Could I call it all myself? No, it's for real, it's for real. It's for real, it's for real.